The Power Lunch Club has changed in the last few months. Membership is by invitation only, and only business owners and chief executives receive that invitation. It's meant that the quality of both members and speakers invited has been rising rapidly. Yeah, we've, we've made a, a good focus on that. That's been very, very important. It's been important, important for the, the right people to, to speak for us, to give their experiences, to give their knowledge, to give something back to, to the success that they've, they've achieved in business as well. So we are now a business club for senior directors and CEOs, and that pulls in its own level of, uh, of interest and kind of a certain level of business person as well. So yes, we've we definitely made that right decision to go for that high level of uh, decision maker within an organisation. The club is much more than a networking group, offering support to its members. That's one of the reasons the new sponsors come on board. The reason is pretty simple. The ethos behind this organisation of collaborative and knowledge sharing um, amongst business uh, people very much sits with our own ethos and so we've come along to meet business people, to learn from them and uh, to hopefully enable us to meet business need better and uh, provide a better service to our clients as a result. The latest speaker was HSBC's Scottish Chief Executive, out to stress that the bank's doors were open to companies wanting to grow their business. The reason we're expanding in Scotland is because um, we know there are great businesses. If I talk particularly about commercial banking, it's also true in personal banking. There are, there are people that we would love to have you know, as customers. Um, why are we doing it right now um, is because we think this is the best opportunity you know, that we'll have uh, by virtue of, of our relative strength you know, at this point in time. What people tend to forget is just how Scottish HSBC happens to be. Yeah, we, I mean, we owe our, the Hong Kong Shanghai Banking Corporation owes its very existence to the international mindedness and the enterprise of, of one Sir Thomas Sutherland, you know, you know, an Aberdonian. Um, and we continue to be characterised uh, by a large number of Scots within HSBC you know, at the most senior levels. Um, We've also found, uh, as an organisation, found Scotland to be not just a great place to compete for business in, but a great place to operate from. And we employ more than 3,200 people across a very wide variety of activities you know, here on the ground in Scotland as well. What about your lending policy? Because that is actually an issue for a lot of small businesses. We're not constrained by our balance sheet. So we, have, you know, we, we are absolutely open for business and we have money to lend. Um, we understand that um, our willingness to support businesses and individuals you know, through lending will have an important role to play in, uh, in, in our winning business you know, as well. And that's reflected in the fact that in the first half of this year, our lending to SMEs, the, the, the outstanding balances were up by 34%. Um, but it's also probably important for me to say that we're not, a kind of, we're not in any sense a soft touch. Um, so we have... We have a very clear, we benefit from a very clear set of risk policies and processes you know, and procedures. Those have remained pretty stable, so we'd be delighted to engage with people and we'll give them a very clear kind of steer from, from, you know, from the get-go. Um, but yes, we're finding, uh, we're finding businesses to lend to in, you know, in Scotland. After so many questions about banks' willingness to lend, it's the kind of message firms of all size want to hear.